The Kendrick extrication device is a device that is used in vehicle extrication to remove victims of traffic collisions from motor vehicles, typically used in conjunction with a cervical collar. The KED is a semi-rigid brace that secures the head, neck, and torso in an anatomically neutral position. This position reduces the possibility of additional injuries to these regions during extrication. Approach your patient from the line of sight, and while introducing yourself, control manual C-spine. You can assess the level of consciousness and chief complaint at this time. Arrange to transfer C-spine control to your partner. This way, you can have hands-free to assess the airway, breathing, circulation, determine the priority and expose if needed. It's important to note that you should be able to do a complete head to toe while the patient is in a sitting position, either if they are in the vehicle or just sitting on a regular chair. Once the determination for the use of KED is made, access the equipment, including the cervical spine collar. Information on how to properly size and apply a cervical collar is explained on a different video. Once the cervical collar is placed, transfer cervical spine back from your partner in what is called the sandwich method, where you place one hand along the back of the patient and one along the front to slightly tilt the patient forward so your partner can slide the cat behind the patient into proper position. Make sure that the cat is placed high in the patient's axilla for the right position. Once the KED is slid into position, it is secured to the victim with straps in order to prevent movement. The first strap that is secured is the middle torso strap. According to the KED user's manual, securing the strap secures the greatest area of the device and therefore provides the greatest stability while securing the rest of the device. Deploy the two leg straps attached to the back of the kit. Slide them underneath each leg and securing them by either the crisscross method or along to the respective area. If there is any evidence of groin injury, the crisscross method should be avoided. Following application of the leg straps, the void between the head and the device is padded as needed. The head pad can bring the head too far forward for the side panels to fully immobilize it. Care must be taken to secure the head properly to maintain neutral immobilization. If the head is too far forward, the head is brought back to meet KED unless crepitus, pain, or resistance is met. If these symptoms are present, the head is immobilized in the position found. There are three handles on the CAD that will allow you better handling of the patient while moving them to the long spine board. Access those handles and pivot the patient in coordination with your partner. Make sure that the backboard is placed properly behind the patient to make it easier to lower the patient to the board. Keep the patient's knees bent during the process of lowering them to the long spine board. Note that C-spine control is not necessary when the CAD is fully secured. However, once the patient is placed on the board, you must regain C-spine control before undoing the leg straps. After that, lower the patient's leg onto the board for comfort. Last, once the patient is on the spine board, the patient must be secured to the long spine boards just like any other patient would.